What do you think? <laughs> right? Like, yes. Oh my god. They said they wanted Avatar and I think I think Avatar would actually be jealous <laughs> of this. I could totally see being a blue man living in this thing. So I, I think you said it best. How do you top it? And you said, well, we can always top it. And I think oh. that's the reason we've been doing this as long as we've been 100%. doing it, right? Like I looked at this and the first thing I thought is like, how could we make it better? Yeah. And absolutely. I've got different ideas. <laughs> absolutely. And, and we could do this, we could do that. Like imagine that urn upside down hanging from the ceiling. Like, that would be cool. <laughs> or turning the pump all the way. Yeah. Yeah. That would be or, pretty cool. Yep. It would. Well, you like it aggressive. I like it gentle. Right, we made it. We got Trevor, our artist. Ed is somewhere back in there, but we're gonna unload this truck, that truck over there, and then we've got this one here with all of our plant material and stuff on it. So, should be making quick work of it. We'll see how fast we can go. I think the part that's gonna take the most time is actually just unloading everything. Once it's back there, it should go pretty quick. Yeah. Super B, it's two times in one year. <laughs> <laughs> two times in like a month and a half. What do you think, I was asking Trevor, what do you think is gonna be the longest part of this install? The longest part of the install? It's gonna be plumbing. Plumbing? Yeah. No, because I already figured it all you out. Have? Oh my gosh. You are a mad man. I think it's gonna be unloading all this stuff. <laughs> and then trying to. That would be the best. That would be good. That would be a good problem. I've used this analogy probably five times this year, but it's kind of like building a pirate ship into a glass bottle <laughs> over there. <laughs> I like it. Yep. <laughs> all right, I'll see you over there. Sounds good. All right. <laughs> That's Team Aquascape right there. There it is. You don't see Ed operate equipment too often, but when he does... <laughs> it's really the right? thing stuff. It takes a lot of... <laughs> so our challenge is we have to get all of this stuff that we brought in through here. See all of their black light stuff back through here and over to there. All right, so where are we at? You guys, I think, I don't know if you call it the most time consuming part. I think still unloading <laughs> it all was probably the most time consuming. But we've got our structure, right? So the wall is in all the way around. We're only going with two timbers high because all we have to do is hide a nine and a half inch high aqua block. That's gonna be supporting some stuff here and there. And that nine and a half inches is also crucial because it's probably the minimum amount of water we need to actually still allow our pumps to circulate correctly. So now that the timber wall is in, our fabric's down. Of course, we wanna put fabric to cushion that liner we're gonna come in put our rubber liner in and then we're gonna just start piecing in some of these I think the best thing to bring in is probably the urn first and then work off of that big urn yeah. we've left one section of wall unscrewed so we can still get in and out of here because nobody wants to carry that stuff up and over a 12 inch high wall so I think the next step is rubber liner yep <laughs> Everything's coming together pretty quick. Brian is grabbing a ladder, and all right, he's back. So one of the challenges with this massive urn is getting the plumbing in. So Brian already pre-cut the pipe. So what's your thought? Just drop that, get the top piece on, and then we could slide. Does, is there an elbow on the? Not yet. There is not an elbow on that piece. So I just have the, the pipe cut basically to size. We'll drop it in, and then we'll lean it over. Lean it. Normally, like on these small ones, we have the luxury of like reaching your arm in there and doing some of this. This, we don't, right? <laughs> no, not even close. Maybe if Hanson was here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that would be a good test. Yeah. It really would. The stumps are looking great. Look at that. Big ferns. Got some banana plants going in there. This is going to be incredible. Get somebody like inside of it. Peeking in. 
head out. Dude, you're like 20 feet tall. It is getting down to the details. What are you thinking, Bri? I love it. Right? The only thing, I need to get some Aquashella advice, <laughs> how I paint the Aquascape side yeah. to make sure that that thing pops. I agree. I love everything oh. else, but we need that to... She is right behind you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this is looking awesome. Like it, I love all the thick vegetation. Stumps are popping out. And then you got that monster, monster urn over in the background. And with those things, from a design perspective, you gotta be real careful with them. If it's just sticking out there by itself, it's gonna look kind of odd. But as soon as you start tucking it back and you start creating all these different layers, it really creates a unique perspective because it's kind of building itself up towards that peak area. Trying to scale it a little bit with some of these other trees makes a big difference, as well as the vertical accents of all those stumps. Looking incredible. <laughs> right? Like, yes. Oh my god. They said they wanted Avatar and I think I think Avatar would actually be jealous <laughs> of this. I could totally see being a blue man living in this thing. Like it's super super. I have cool. a good mental image now. Um there's so many things we learned about this. What pump we actually need to run that urn. Yep. So we have a five to nine running the large stacked urn. Half of it's cut off because nothing's going on the back. But the five to nine is not only running that, it's also feeding that, I can't remember, that bowl up there, the bowl. taller bowl up there. Yep. And we have both the ball valves almost shut. Crazy. And it's at one. So it's not even running full potential. At full potential, that thing's aggressive, which I know you like. I love it. That's Mr. Ed Blue behind the camera, show him. Right, but I think it's awesome. But at the end of the day, we can't do it without an enormous amount of support, like we always do with all of our projects. I have to introduce you to somebody I think is super, super talented. It's this guy right here. Come over here, Trevor. All right. <laughs> like, unbelievable artist. I've seen his portfolio of different sketches and other things he's done. I've sculptures seen are sculptures, incredible. Sculptures, his aquariums. I've heard his own pond is pretty incredible. We were talking at lunch about what he wants to do in his backyard and I'm like already giddy about what he's about to do. But the whole time I kind of started putting this together back at the office, I constantly went back to Trevor and said, Trevor, what do you think? What do you think? And even here, he just has a good eye for things like the way the tree should sit, the way the bowl should sit, moving this bridge a little bit forward this way so it's like the whole thing kind of climbs that way as you walk in. Trevor, what do you think of your creation? Our creation, yeah. I think <laughs> it was absolutely amazing. I mean like from start to finish it was just a piece of art from here to there to there to there to there. I mean it just turned out incredible, cohesive. I don't know, I'm speechless. I think once it's glowing in the dark it's gonna be crazy. Something we should probably show everybody because absolutely. the whole thing is meant to have that avatar. We have all this glow in the dark paint and stuff in here so check out you <laughs> you know what i'm saying right? <laughs> wait till you see what it looks like with the black lights on because it's actually totally breathtaking a couple other people we should introduce right sean hi guys what do you say i think it's awesome i've never yeah. seen that big urn running before and the thing is just crazy you know why why because we're the first five people in the world that's awesome see the, the large urn run before right 
so awesome. Jack, tomorrow's your last day. You quit or you got fired? Uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Going back to school, finish up, you got a couple more months of work and then you're coming back to work for construction full time. Yep, yep, right? I'm excited. And I don't know if we can top this, but we'll try. <laughs> Could always top it. Right. Always, always top That's it. That's why the we've beauty been of doing it. this for how many years, Ed? Uh, I don't Too many know. To count, but it's actually, it, we can actually start measuring in decades, or actually yeah. even almost even a quarter of a century, which is like. <laughs> That's actually kind of sad. It's right? really, right? I know. <laughs> it's like we're starting to walk kind of bent yeah, over and like holding arms, but it's awesome. Like to do stuff like this, every project's super unique. You know, they gave us basically a blank slate to work with, you know, a location on the ground. You started laying all this stuff out, but just playing around with all the pieces and the parts and coming up with all this stuff and working with Michelle and the incredible team here. It's just like everybody's super excited. We come on site and everybody's like, oh my gosh, and they kept coming by and we just had like <laughs> a third of it done. We're like, oh my gosh, you have no idea. You know, it's like, That's this awesome. is going to be insane. Insane. And it really is unbelievable. So I, I think you said it best. How do you top it? And you said, well, we can always top it. And I think oh. that's the reason we've been doing this as long as we've been 100%. doing it, right? Like I looked at this, and the first thing I thought is like, how can we make it better? Yeah. And absolutely. I've got different ideas. <laughs> absolutely. And, and we could do this. We could do that. Like <laughs> imagine that urn upside down hanging from the ceiling. Like that would be cool. <laughs> or turning the pump all the way. Yeah. Up. Yeah. That would be or, pretty cool. Yep. Yeah. It would. Well, you like it aggressive. I like it gentle. You know. I'm more of a little butterfly. You're more of like a wildebeest. <laughs> no, it is pretty sweet, but, but awesome. you're absolutely right. Good job. Hey, always, good job, everybody. Man, always, great job. Tell us what your favorite part is. Is it the big urn? Is it the spillway bowls with the big giant horsetail falls coming down? Is it all of the fog that we have all over the place? Which, by the way, will never, ever work outside, so don't waste no. your time trying to do it outside. But indoors, it works really, really well. Tell us what your favorite part is. If you like it, hit like, comment, subscribe, tell all of your friends about it, and we'll do it again. Thanks. Bye.